Hi, and thanks for your interest in Microsoft Dynamics AX. I'd like to take about five minutes and talk about some of the advanced WMS functionality that's embedded in the Dynamics AX ERP system. The scenario we're going to look at today is entirely WMS within Dynamics AX. It includes the concept of containerization, so we're going to see a single sales order with multiple sales order lines. WMS is going to apply logic, which will determine the containers that the order has to be shipped in, and individual pickers can pick to a container ID using a mobile device. Let's first look at our sales order. We have sales order 000962. If we look at the bottom half of the screen, we're going to see that it contains two item numbers in differing quantities. The screen we're looking at now is what I would call the warehouse manager's cockpit. So if I was a warehouse manager, I would need visibility to all the work that has to occur in my warehouse or warehouses based on what I'm responsible for. And in this example, we're going to see four work elements that have been created for our sales order 000962. Now why are there four? It's because when AX applied the WMS containerization logic, AX determined that four different containers or four different boxes of different sizes were going to be required to ship this order and we want this to be split so that individual warehouse workers can pick the individual boxes. If we look at the bottom half of the screen, we can see that the individual picks and puts and the item number, as well as the location we're picking from and putting to, is defined per work element, or in other words, per box that a worker has to go through the warehouse and pick. It's also important to understand how this containerization logic applies to the shipment of this particular sales order. So let's go look at how the containers are defined over on the shipment side. What we're seeing here is a list of the four containers that are required for the shipment for our single sales order. And you can see that we have two large boxes, a medium box, and a small box, and that all these containers are in an open status. Now if you look at the bottom half of the screen, it'll show you the breakdown of the individual items that are in each individual container. I've returned to the warehouse manager's cockpit. Now again, this is the work, the four elements of work that are required to ship the sales order. Four elements because we have four different containers or boxes that we have to pick to. Each one of those boxes has a container ID. Now the warehouse worker is not going to use this interface in order to do the pick and the put transactions. They're going to use a warehouse mobile interface, again, part of Dynamics AX ERP, but that transaction is going to be keyed off of this container ID. I don't want my warehouse workers to need to know how to navigate through Dynamics AX in order to do a simple outbounding transaction. So what we provide as part of Dynamics AX ERP is a mobility interface for the warehouse worker. Now this is running on my desktop within a browser, but this could be easily running on some kind of mobile device that an individual is carrying throughout the warehouse. My warehouse worker is navigated to sales picking, and the first thing they're prompted for is to scan a container ID. So Dynamics AX has determined the proper container size for a piece of the work that has to be done to ship the sales order, and all the warehouse worker has to do is to scan the container ID, and then the system's going to prompt them for where to go to pick the item and where to go to put the item. So the warehouse worker, in this example, his name is John, has completed the first pick and put for the first container based on the work that was created by the WMS system that's contained within Dynamics AX. So the warehouse worker has used the mobile device to pick three of the boxes and they place them at the put location, which is the bay door. I return to the warehouse manager's cockpit and I get that holistic view of not only the work that has to occur, but the work that has occurred. And if you look at the work that has occurred, that's the work with the status of closed, we can see at the bottom half of the screen what happened, the picks and the puts, the locations it was picked from and where it was located at, as well as the user ID of the warehouse worker who performed the work. 
Now, I'm not going to finish the picking of the last box. That's the open transaction. But what I thought we would do is jump over to the shipment side and look at how this containerization information is displayed there. The containerization logic not only creates the work, specifically the boxes that have to be picked within the warehouse, but it flows through to the shipment side as well. So we have ongoing visibility to what boxes have been picked for a particular shipment, which boxes haven't been picked, as well as after the shipment has been confirmed, we have an audit trail, if you will, of the different containers, the container sizes, the weights, the tracking numbers, and which items were in the individual boxes. I'd like to recap some of the key points. Dynamics AX includes a fully featured WMS. It includes it. It's embedded within the ERP. It is not a bolt-on application. One piece of that functionality, containerization, allowed a sales order to be processed through WMS in a way that particular containers of different sizes were identified and each individual warehouse worker was able to pick to the container, not to the shipment, not to the order, but to the individual container, which then would be consolidated and be included within a shipment to the customer. Thanks for your interest in Dynamics AX WMS.